In our last series, we covered how to properly get query parameters from our request and then inject them into our Blade templates. In this lesson, we're going to change it up just a little bit. Instead of trying to get our query parameters from our request, we want to be able to say, Zach or Sarah like that. We want to be able to make a wildcard parameter. We want to be able to grab the parameter and then pass it in. So for right now, let's go back to our blade template and remove the ID and email and let's just simplify it down to making sure we can properly pass the name. So to of course remove the email and the ID, you just go to home.blade.php and we'll keep the name. Next, we're going to go back to home Dot blade, or sorry, to web.php, and we're going to add this wildcard using these special curly braces. Now, what's this do? What are we doing right here? Well, we're saying, hey, we want to pass through or get the parameter or value of this in our URL. So, this is just a wildcard that could be slash home slash Jimmy slash home slash Sarah or slash home slash um, Sammy it could be any of those um, and each time that curly braces name is just going to extract that variable so we would have Jimmy Sarah or Sammy but there is one caveat if we die and dump the request name like we did last time what happens we get it we actually do get it but there's one other way to actually go about instead of having to do that helper request when you bind it to a parameter you can actually inject name like that and then we can die and dump name and it still works. Now there's one other thing though, and here's a caveat. Of course if you remove that and you try to do something like that, it acts funky, right? This works properly, but if we go to home we don't get anything. What if we want to make this optional? You don't have to have the name. Well let's try this question mark right at the end makes it optional so there you go too few arguments to function now here's the caveat on that is if it's optional then it doesn't know to inject it into that function right there so if we just remove that and we say request get the request name or if the request name doesn't exist get a default value so that's what that is request actually accepts and let's knock that down two parameters the first one is the value is trying to get unless it's empty then we'll just get this default value so it's gonna try to get name but if it doesn't exist we'll get default value and then because this is optional and it may not exist we just don't inject it. Instead of injecting it into that function, we use our request helper function. And there we go. Default value. So the last thing we would really want to do is say, okay, that's set up. That looks, you know, decently clean. Got name right there. Does it work? If we reload our page, no, it doesn't. So why doesn't that work? Well, because we're getting the request input, but we don't really have a value. We were setting the default. So request input isn't going to work here because if we die and dump request input, we're going to get an associative array 
but it's going to have an empty value, right? So what we want, and of course, if we go right here, boom, boom, there's nothing there. But going back, if you go request name, you do name equals request name, you do die and dump name, this should work. And of course, we do need to go and actually add the name. So there we go. So that does work. And if we just don't put in the optional parameter, it's null. If we add in the optional parameter, like hey there, we get hey there, or Sam, anything we want. So if we remove the request input right here, and then we just compact that name, we now have the name. If it has no name in the URL, instead of defaulting to a value like n slash a, we'll just keep it as null. Or I guess n slash a works, non-applicable. So it's going to try to get the name. If name doesn't exist, then we're going to default to non-applicable. The name is going to be compacted and then passed into our home blade template where we simply output it using our mustache braces. So let's reload that and there we go. Now of course if we were to remove Sam we get non-applicable. Backslash or no backslash if there is no value there we don't get a value it defaults to non-applicable. Now, of course, if we add any value in, we'll get that value back. No value, it defaults to non-applicable. So the last thing I want to show today is actually setting up route constraints using wildcards. So first, let's get rid of the optional, and let's just say we're going to need it every single time. So the last thing I want to show you today is how to set up what is known as routing constraints using wildcards and the special where method on the route. So here's how it works. And I'm actually going to change home name to home ID. And we're actually going to do a die and dump uh, request ID just like that and that way we just keep it simple see if we're actually hitting the route okay so here's how it works is you find the route parameter the wildcard route parameter which is ID and you say when the ID meets this regular expression then and only then is this route actually a route we want to define. So it's defining a route, but it's defining the route based on the fact whether that current wildcard within our route, that parameter within our route, meets our regular expression pattern. If it abides to the pattern, then it will properly hit this route. If it does not, then we will not get this route and we will get a 404. Now the cool part with this is we're using a regular expression that says something between 0 and 9. It has to be a number between 0 and 9. So if we get any letters, it should not let us hit the given route. So let's try this out. 1, that works. And then if we go boom, doesn't work. So now what we're saying is that this route parameter is a thing, right? It's a thing that is dynamic, that we don't know what it is, but we're saying even though we don't know what it is, only accept it where or when the ID meets the pattern this regular expression is defining. This regular expression says, hey, the ID must be a number, it must be numeric, it cannot be alphabetic. So when we do home slash two, it works. 
home slash 2 2, it works. Home slash A2, it won't. And home slash any letters, it won't. And it returns 404 not found because we only want to say this is a route where ID is numeric. So that is basic route parameters in a nutshell. Simple.